The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. It's time for a crunch or two. It's time for a little something something. It's time for the Snack Authority. The Snack Authority. The authority on snacks. Snacks of all kinds. From the most common and wildly famous to the most obscure and unknown. The Snack Authority, snacking all the time so you don't have to. Welcome to the Snack Authority, broadcasting live from Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. The Snack Authority is a weekly podcast where we dig into the history, taste, and flavor of local snacks, national favorites, and even some bizarre and international snacks, alone or in head-to-head -head battles. I am Jessica, and with me is a my panel of experts. We have Dave, Mikey, and Ed. What are we eating today, guys? Chocolate. Oh, that was good. Gave me a little tingle. Milk chocolate, in specific. Very mm -hmm. specific. So it's very important because it's not as uh, not dark chocolate. Big difference. A lot of different chocolate. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. Well, there are a multitude of different kinds of chocolate, but I mean, I think milk chocolate. When you think of I'm, I need a bar of chocolate. Chocolate, milk mm. chocolate. Candy yep. bar, chocolate, milk chocolate. Yeah, a little bit of dirty, dirty to start your day. I like it. Right, and because white chocolate doesn't even count as far Black as I'm chocolate. Concerned. I would agree with you there. It's vanilla. Hard agree. <laughs> not, that, not that there's anything wrong with that. No. It's, not, <laughs> it's mean, not chocolate. Yeah, if there's nothing else, why not, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to say, content, not gonna yeah. say no to it. But, but that's I've like the second stringer. If you had milk chocolate, why would you eat white chocolate? You wouldn't, clearly. <laughs> you, well... <laughs> I recognize all these bars, yep. very famous mm -hmm. bars. Mm -hmm. I, I see one missing that is very famous, and uh, I was shocked oh, to see. We're, we're going to get into yeah, that. I was yeah. shocked to see that that wasn't here. We'll get into that. This is beautiful. I'm sorry. It had yeah. to be done. So this is what Chocolate Rich looks like. We have a Cadbury Dairy Milk Bar. We have the Lint Classic Recipe. We also have good old-fashioned Hershey Bar. Right, and you'll notice those are big bars, but there's four of us. So yeah, we got two yeah. of each. This, half. This is the big bar. <laughs> this but, isn't. But Jessica was mentioning the big bar is thicker than the regular the bar. The regular one. Yeah. I have a weird love affair with letting it melt on my tongue. Like I'm fine with a couple of pieces of chocolate, so I don't feel super guilty. Um, if you don't need a whole bar, pretty much you're not guilty. Does anybody remember back in the day? Like probably when I was a kid, so you were probably an adult almost. Um, <laughs> oh, thank you. They had the um, <laughs> they had the big blocks, and it was a brick of chocolate, and the chunks were huge on them. I think you used them to make chocolate, right? Well, no, they sold them in oh, the convenience stores. Oh, the baking chocolate? Yeah. yeah, they sold them in stores. They were called big blocks. They didn't last well, long. Oh, really? No. Um, there's Chunky. Well, Chunky, I yeah, like that's the those. old Chunky bar with the raisins and the yeah. nuts and the goody goodness. Yeah, I like those. I really want to but, sniff But this. this is just plain chocolate. There's mm -hmm. no almonds in it. There's no crunchies. There's mm -hmm. no nothing. Yeah, no chili pepper. No <laughs> adornments. Yeah. yeah. This is hardcore, no funny regular, straight up, straight up milk chocolate. Or straight is it? Uh, well, technically they are. The ingredient list does not deviate too, too much. Okay. One thing I would like to comment on that I thought was interesting, the only bar that is, is different from the, the standard layout of the ingredients on these is the lint milk chocolate. They all go from sugar. The other two go to milk next. This one goes to cocoa butter next, and that confuses the daylights out of me. I like cocoa butter. You rub that on yourself, no sunburn. <laughs> Yeah, so you won't get your so, it's, so that should be more buttery, creamy. Mm. I th I would think so. And they, they're showing the cream actually right on the package of on it. The two other of one, them. dairy milk. One showing cream, and Hershey is showing nothing. But they don't have to because they got brown and Everybody silver. Knows well, they say made with farm fresh milk. Ah, and they so did fancy yeah. writing for which the is milk. true. If you go to Hershey, they actually have <coughs> farms that are specific for Hershey. Ah. It's kind of cool. I mean, these are iconic packaging. If you if you don't even read these and you look at them, you know who they are. Yeah. I'm, I'm down to start snapping. Where's the bunny? All right. You start unwrapping, and I'll talk a little history. How's Ooh, that? Nice. All, right. All right. The history of chocolate began in Mesoamerica. Fermented beverages made from chocolate date back to 350 B.C. Oh. Wonderful. The Probably Aztecs the oldest, believed that... Cacao seeds were the gift of Quetzalcoatl. Is that his name? Quetzalcoatl? The yeah. dragon-looking thing, yeah. The That's god of god, wisdom. Yeah. Okay. Originally prepared only as a drink, chocolate was served as a bitter 
liquid mixed with spices or corn puree. Hmm. Uh, it was believed to have aphrodisiac powers and give the drinker strength. It does. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Jessica says that, that is I'm true. I'm so excited. That is called a sugar rush. After its arrival in Europe in the 16th century, sugar was added to it, rendering it an aphrodisiac, and it became popular throughout wow, society. She's being very cheap with this. I am not. I'm I am breaking this up delicately. Downstairs. In I the, probably would. In the 20th century, chocolate was considered essential in the rations of United States soldiers, particularly World War II. In 1887, Daniel Peter adopted the original formula for what was to become the first successful milk chocolate in the entire world. Hmm. It smells so good. Which is? Daniel Peter worked in the Nestle factory. Ah, and there it is. There it is. And so, so it goes. Nestle was the good. original milk chocolate bar. Hmm. It was introduced into the American market in 1919 as a competitor to Hershey's. Oh, as so Hershey was first. No. Okay. Nestle was first, but they weren't in the U.S. Ah, oh, okay. there we go. Right. So, um, yeah, Nestle was in Switzerland. Hmm. But then oh, they I didn't came know. to the U.S. So that was Swiss chocolate. It was Nestle. Yeah. Hmm. Which, which is considered, you know, people think hmm. Swiss Swiss chocolate yeah. is the best chocolate. So but I'm Nestle saying. says N E S T L E S. Nestle make the very best. They oh, do. I like that. Yeah. The Nestle milk chocolate bar was discontinued in 2016. Unbelievable. Boo. And I had no idea. Here we are. The snack authority didn't know Nestle's is out of business. Discontinued. Nestle candy bar. How about the Nestle Crunch? I know it's. Classic. I believe the, I Nestle, the Nestle Crunch, crunch. is still in existence. Um, at some point, we should stack that up against the Crackle, for example. Sure. I vote yes. Yeah. So, is there a, there a name for one of these little square Hershey's? Delicious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they they call them like bricks and bars. No, I think it has a name. Block mm. nib. I don't think that's a nib. I'm sorry. No, I cocoa nib is something that. different. They they call them blocks. They call them pieces, but I, I would just call them blocks. I mean, this it's is chocolate goodness. The serving size on these are slightly different. The Cadbury has the smallest. Um, you I got believe, serving yeah. Size. So you got you got a rectangle on the Hershey, and then you got a rectangle on the Lint. But you have a square Cadbury who says, "I'm not going for this. I'm not <laughs> following this pattern. I'm going my own way." So I think the most famous and the first one should be the Hershey. Yep. Mm -hmm. it, it was American classic. The first in the U.S. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I, I let their commercial go a little longer because they're iconic. Okay. Hershey Real milk chocolate, I love that Hershey bar. Nothing wrong with Hershey's. That was oh, wonderful. It was delicious. And, uh, if that were my is, alarm clock, I'd be happy to yeah, wake up. Oh, yeah, and you yeah. get out and have a chocolate milk or something. Of course yeah, do well. you know if um, Hershey was an immigrant or if he was like a first generation? Let me see. That is not in my notes. I don't remember if I heard about that when I was down in Hershey. I mean, it's Hershey's headquartered in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Yeah, they pretty much built the town just to supply the factory and give the people yep. jobs. Awesome story. Founded in 1894 as the Hershey Chocolate Company by Milton S. Hershey. Hershey products are sold in over 60 countries wow. worldwide, so it's more than America. They started manufacturing chocolate bars in 1900. In 1903, Hershey began construction of their chocolate plant in his hometown of Derry Church, which later became known as Hershey, Pennsylvania. The Hershey Kiss was introduced in 1907. That's older wow. than I thought. Me too. I thought that was like in the 60s or something. Now, mm -hmm. he, here's an interesting lead into the next one. In 1988, Hershey's acquired the rights to manufacture and distribute many Cadbury branded mm -hmm. products. Ah, mm -hmm. so Cadbury's next. Here we go. Tell us about Cadbury. Cadbury dairy milk was introduced in the UK in 1905. According to a 2007 report in the New York Times, the British bar contains, in order, milk, 
sugar, cocoa mass, cocoa butter, vegetable fat, and emulsifiers. While the American version has sugar, lactose, emulsifier, soy lecithin, and natural and artificial flavorings. According to a spokesman, Cadbury tries to adapt the taste of its products to local consumers. Hmm. Mm. So the Cadbury bar in the UK is very different. Wow. And, you know, I think we will do a future show facing off UK products against US yeah. products. I would dig that. Well, we did that with the shortbread. Yeah, I think we'll have another battle. Well, Cadbury is very different mm. than Hershey. Really denser, is. really coats your mouth. It's good. It's, it's good. Thick. It's What's that extra flavor? I don't know if it's... Does it get the barley malt in it or anything like that? Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. That's the barley malt is actually in the lint, which we haven't tried yet. Hmm. Mm, different some sort of yeah, flavor. I mean, the texture is very different. Mm. I, I don't want to be mean to Hershey because they're an American icon, but it always reminds me of candle wax. <laughs> <laughs> the Hershey doesn't have the creaminess that you get from the Cadbury, for example. Mm-hmm. Wh- which is an added ingredient, though. Well, <coughs> it's, you know. Yeah, I mean, in uh, and we'll hear it on their uh, UK commercial. All right. They put a lot more real milk in the chocolate in the UK. All right. So let's let's hear from uh, Cadbury. Happy birthday, Mom. <gasps> Thank you. There's a glass and a half in everyone. They say a glass and a half of milk in every hmm. bar in the UK. So it's health food. There we go. It's good for you. That it. was a little weird. I'm going to level with you. That was heavy breathing in my ears while I'm eating chocolate. Yeah. Never want to associate those things. Okay. Well, hopefully Lint will be better for you. I'm ready to rock <laughs> it. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Take a moment to experience bliss. Smooth, melting Lindor. From the Lint Master Chocolatier. You choose the moment. We'll provide the bliss. Sexual. <laughs> yeah, <you're laughs> so bow, bow, bow. That yeah. was so uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> I just want to point out that Hershey's kind of made it so that it was it was for the kids. Cadbury and Lint seem like they're making it a little more geared to the adults. Like that's an adult treat. Mm-hmm. I get it. Do but when you eat chocolate, who wants to be an adult when you're eating chocolate? You want to be like happy, giddy kid. <coughs> mm. Yeah, I mean the Lint, which I moved on to mm. because I got to try them all. Mm-hmm. It you know, it's their own a distinct flavor, you it know? It does have a maltiness to mm. it. Yeah. But you know, Lint's made in Hampton, New Hampshire, isn't it? Well, Lint is a Swiss chocolatier mm-hmm. and confectionery company founded in 1845. On July 14, 2014, Lint bought Russell Stover candies. Really? <gasps> oh. Maker of Whitman chocolate for about uh, $1 billion. Back in the day. Lint the Whitman ha- sampler. Lint has a factory in Stratham, New Hampshire. Hmm. Road trip. Uh, their <laughs> other products are probably better known. You, everyone knows Lindor. Mm-hmm. You know the balls. Yeah. The apples. Those were indu- uh, introduced in 1967, and those are manufactured in New Hampshire for the American market. Oh. I never knew this. Hmm. That's why I live here. <laughs> 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 you know what surprised me? The one bar that we didn't, the other bar that we didn't get, was the Girardelli, because that's San Francisco. And yeah. those are like direct competitors of Lint. That one, I don't know if that one, that one strikes me as a little more premium, but yeah. I guess Lint is upscale from Cadbury and Hershey. Well, Lint is using the um, writing script here, mm-hmm. yeah. um, which I guess they don't even teach anymore in school. So yeah, cursive. Cur- cursive. That's and uh, Cadbury is close to it. It's, it's a, almost in between. It's a cursive. Mm-hmm. So where Hershey's is a regular block lettering for children to enjoy and, uh, and understand. So I'm saying these, just like Jess said, I think these Cadbury and Lint <coughs> is saying, I'm for the adults, mm-hmm. Hershey's for the kids. But we'll be the judge of that. I just want to look at the color difference between them. Yeah. If you yeah. look at them, Hershey's is the darkest brown. By far. Uh, Cadbury's looks like it has a bit of a cast on it. And they have a lot of emulsifiers. So I'm, I'm quite surprised that it's not, a sh- not shiny. Hmm. I like the shine. Cadbury is softer. It's not as mm-hmm. dense as the other mm-hmm. two. And the most dense is probably the Hershey. Doing the smack test. Dave, can we go back to the cursive writing for a second? Yes. Ooh. So 
if they don't teach that in school anymore, going forward, everyone's signature will be in block letters? Or, or electronic. Electronic. Mm. I, I, I don't understand it. I'm not really for Just it. Just put a chip in everyone? Yeah, no kidding. Put a chip. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate chips. Well done. There we go. Well done. Bacon cookies. I have to say, I'm thoroughly enjoying this mm. sampling. Yeah. There isn't a bad one. In no. The no. No. There's somebody, somebody is going to take first place, but mm -hmm. um, I'd take any of these. I wouldn't say no to neither no. of them. Mm -mm. They're all For good. Sure. Is there any news today in snacks? Well, isn't there always news in snacks? I think so. It's pretty so. important. All right. This one is kind of for you, Dave. Mm. Because it relates to donuts. Ah. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily great donuts, but Carl's Jr. and Hardee's have added a new breakfast item inspired by a Kellogg cereal. Hmm. The Fruit Loops mini donuts come in five vibrant colors red, yellow, purple, green, and blue. I have seen this. I have not tasted <laughs> it yet, but I have seen it. I have not tasted it. Sounds like a load of food coming. We don't yeah. actually have that many Carl's Juniors mm. or Hardee's in this yeah, region. Yeah, it's one of about 40 miles away in Linfield, Massachusetts. Jeez. I'm impressed you know that. Oh, he, he knows <laughs> where <laughs> every <laughs> fast food establishment yeah, yeah, yeah. is. <laughs> I am part of the snack authority, and yeah. I consider those snacks not meals. Right. If, if you're getting a donut sandwich, you know. And it was a light week in the news, but this one has a local flavor to it. More than a quarter of the workers at Cape Cod Potato Chips Hyannis facility have been laid off. Oh, no. Oh. Cape Cod Potato Chips was acquired by Campbell Soup last year. Mm -hmm. They have removed 12 kettle fryers and reduced the production lines from three down to one. What is going on? I don't know. There was no indication of whether they've picked up production somewhere else. I mean, obviously, with that reduction. And, I, and I'm scary. doing the work. I'm eating the chips. Yeah, my wife yeah. loves those things. Yeah, I, I can't explain it. Well, you know, maybe they're going to bring it down to a, no, no Campbell's maybe going to Mexico, and they're going to use that place as a museum now maybe. for tours. Very sad news. Mm. Didn't that start in that. Cape Cod? Mm -hmm. the yeah. Yeah, 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 it was right high down this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, have that with a bite of this. It's magic. So <clears throat> you, I, I thought you were going to mention the guy that invented the lozenger. No. That he had passed away. Did he really? And there was no coffins at the funeral. Oh, <laughs> dear. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> that was good, but it was bad. That's for the kids out there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, we know who's in charge of the joke segment. Yeah, we know. <laughs> yeah. We know who's not, right? <laughs> All right, so I think we have to try to figure out here which is the best, I second and third. I'm, I'm with Ed when it comes to there isn't a bad one here. No. It's actually it, really hard. Is there bad chocolate? Mm, uh, Depends. If you no. put some wacky filling in it, it may stink. You ever have some brand out there and say, oh, my God, that's terrible chocolate? Not necessarily a brand. Yeah. I've had some cheap stuff. Yeah, like Palmer. In, yeah, or, you know, in an Easter bunny where yeah, you the bite Palmer the ears thing, off yeah. and it's just mm. not satisfying. Usually because it's last year's and they... <laughs> right. You, you got one shot of some of It has the, the powdery bunny. white substance. Yeah. yeah. yeah the, <laughs> the separation of the sugar from the chocolate. Yeah. Wow. You can still eat it. I think I'm saving my price difference for after everybody tells me their favorites. Mm -hmm. Really? I, I okay. really think I want to. And right. you, you know why that is? Because I want to see who's got the fancy pants taste. <laughs> hmm. I'm having a really hard time me trying too. to figure this out. This is tricky. Keep see, going. it's a good thing I got two of each. Oh, oh, yes. Because there's a lot of analysis required on this one. Well, we are a thorough panel. We do the research for you people. Because we love you. How about calorie count? Can you talk about that? I absolutely can. The serving size differs for each of them. You're looking at seven <coughs> blocks for Cadbury at 200 calories and 22 grams of sugar. For the lint, it's 10 squares, which are a little bit thinner than the Cadbury, so I don't want you to be scandalized, for 230 calories and 22 grams of sugar. The Hershey, the serving size for this one's a bit smaller at only four blocks, even though they're a little bit bigger than the others, but it's only 160 calories and 17 grams of sugar. And which one's that? That is the Hershey bar. 
is the least amount of calories. It's also the smallest serving size. They were tricky, but I appreciate what they did. So yeah. you gotta you gotta line them up. <clears throat> we, yep. There's so, one question. I have a feeling the calories are probably coming from cocoa butter. Is there any in a Hershey bar? In, in the Hershey bar, yeah. Hmm. There, there's a lot of cocoa butter in everything. They gotta use it to make it a little smooth and a little rich. Hmm. When I put cocoa butter lotion on, it smells like chocolate. I do not lick my arm or anything after I put it on, but yeah, you do. The thought is there. It tastes like chemicals. You don't want to. So. Cadbury is distributed by Hershey's, mm-hmm. but not owned by them. Is that correct, Ed? Yeah, I think they just got the rights to distribute it, hmm. so it's still owned by, to manufacture and distribute, so right. it's probably a licensed deal. Mm. Smart, though. So what I'm thinking hmm. there is they, they don't look, the Cadbury is a direct competitor to them because they're saying the adult is buying the Cadbury. Mm-hmm. The Hershey, you know, is the... Kid one. I guarantee you, bar none, Hershey outsells everything. Mm-hmm. Of course. Yeah. Well, the, it's the Great American Chocolate Bar. Yeah, poor, dis- poor dis- you know, distribution mm-hmm. by itself. Wow, wow man, this is the this. very tough. This is the toughest one, isn't it? Does well, anybody have a answer here yet? I, I do. do. Oh, Ed. You do? Yeah. All right, so go ahead. Talk me into this. I'm very confused. I don't, th- I don't think I'm going to talk you into it. It's a personal taste thing. I mm-hmm. like the lint just because of the maltiness to it. I'm a, mm-hmm. a big fan of malt. Other than that, um, I will say that next is probably Hershey for the nostalgia. Mm-hmm. Oh, and you can't taste nostalgia. If oh, you, you can. Yes, you can. Yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah. Hershey's very unique. Followed by the Cadburys. Now, I think it would be different if we had the U.K. Cadburys, which I'm very partial to. Yeah, probably. Not tried those. I'm excited. Oh, you will. Although, it's more difficult to get the U.K. version in this country since Hershey got the distribution mm-hmm. rights. They're trying to market. shut down. The yeah, they're trying to shut down people distributing the U.K. <coughs> one to hmm. the U.S. It's brutal. Let's take a look at the world market, see if they got any over there. Because yeah. I got some Cadbury st- covered pretzels, cracker things. Oh, nice. I think those are the UK version. All right, you got heads down? I have mm-hmm. heads down, which actually surprised me, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm a surprising one person. Of the local guys, you too. Are. <laughs> you are. Who wants to go next? I do, actually. All I'm right. really pumped about this because there's no bad chocolate. But I, I love you, Hershey. I really like. I would write you a love letter <coughs> for what you have made for me. This tastes like childhood. If I'm going to be bad, I crave, I crave a Hershey bar. It's what I want. Next up would be Cadbury, though I'm a little upset because the Cadbury eggs are really their, their achievement. I expect that stuff to be in the middle With when I eat this. With that sweet sugar goop. Oh, yeah. yeah, the magic. And then Lint. I just... It, I love, I love malted things, but I, I just do not care for that chocolate bar. Hmm. Wow. All right, so I'm going to go next only, mm-hmm. only because of the, what you did. So I want to go completely the opposite of you. Really? <laughs> and Lint, Cadbury, and Hershey last. The waxy taste that you're talking about uh, that Ed brought in uh, up early, mm-hmm. that's what I get of it. It tastes the cheapest. It tastes yeah. like love. And you're going to go into the numbers later, mm-hmm. but I would say it is the cheapest <laughs> cheapest to produce. It tastes the cheapest. The other ones have more of a creaminess, mm. buttery mm-hmm. taste to it. And lint seems like the expensive version. Yeah. And I do have those lint balls at home oh, all yeah. the time. Truffles. And eat them. They melt inside yeah. your mouth. They're fantastic. And it coats your mouth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's it. Uh, I'm going to go lint, Cadbury, Followed by Hershey in third. Again, none of them bad at all. I'll no. take I'll take any of them. Scandal. I'm probably gonna have to go odd man out, and I'm gonna have to go with the Cadbury, just mm. because I like the way it's got that coating sensation in your mouth. You bite into it, it's almost like there's caramel in it, but there isn't. You know, it just really mm-hmm. just coats coats your mouth. I do like the Lind. It's very good. It's also local. It's very smooth mm-hmm. and creamy. I like creamy chocolates. Hershey, I like. I mean, I would never turn it down. But that's mainly because it's American. It's American bar, and the guy did a lot for his community. I mean, I talk about a guy who opened up an orphanage just to help out kids. You know, he almost went bankrupt because of it, but I'm yeah, going to have yeah. to go Cadbury. I just like the mouthfeel. You know what's very interesting, and I, I am very excited to tell you guys the prices of these, because Dave thinks the Lint is the most expensive tasting bar. Yeah. The most expensive is Cadbury. Mm. It's 83 cents per ounce. The Lint milk chocolate is the next, next expensive at point, 
54 ounces, uh, four, 54, 54 cents, cents per ounce. ounce. I got a little chocolate crazy. Yeah. <laughs> then the Hershey's wow, 80 only. 80 to 54. Yeah, and then 34 cents an ounce for the Hershey, which you can eat so much Hershey. So much. Well, we double the amount of Hershey is Cadbury. Mm-hmm. Triple. Mm-hmm. It surprised me, honestly, for the cost of the Cadbury bar. I, I'm not saying it's a bad product, but just the difference in cost for chocolate. It's the advertising. You're advertising to a different palette. You'd assume it would be lint because it's beautiful to look at. I mean, this it's is adult pa- packaging. Yeah, adult packaging bo- in a box. Yeah, they're in the malt chain. In, in a box, in this cute metal foil, which I always thought was just the fanciest thing. But so at, actually, for what it is, mm-hmm. it's a good deal. Yeah. And it tastes, it tastes more expensive. It looks more expensive. It's a little more expensive than Hershey is, but not dramatically. No. And um, Cadbury is overpriced. I wouldn't say it's overpriced. Um, I get what they did there. Comparatively, oh yes. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's Cadbury. You feel a little little scandalous. They have those amazing commercials at Easter time. You have to pay for your kitty money. I feel like I got the right answer. But there's a right and wrong answer. (laughs) But Jess, you didn't like the UK commercial. It creeps you out, right? They are creepy. It's not just me. (laughs) She just really had the lion going bark bark. (laughs) If you agree that it's a little bit a little creepy, please email us about it because I would like somebody on my side. I think we have uh, uh, two wins for the lint yeah. Yeah. up top. Everybody got a, a, a thing, but lint hit it twice. Lint hit it twice. And did anybody, you picked you pick wow. lint last. I really but did. You're the only one. Perhaps Scandal. lint applies to old people. You know, they, they like it better. <laughs> I didn't say that, and I didn't mean that. So I, I hope that the packaging and the name did not skew me. You know, this would be something that maybe in a future show mm. we have to do this blind on a mm-hmm. toothpick. We can't see what they are. You mm-hmm. put it in your mouth and you can get it. Maybe we need actual blindfolds since they're clearly labeled on the chocolate itself. I volunteer to lick the logos off of every bar we eat. <laughs> right, that sounds That's good. Disturbing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's more disturbing than the commercial. All right. I, I think it's time. Oh, got an idea for a snack we should dig into, an mm. idea of what to pair against what else. Let us know. Please contact us at thesnackauthority at gmail.com. Please let your snack-eating friends know about it. Share it. Subscribe to it. Give it a five-star rating. This is the Snack Authority. For Mikey, Ed Sullivan, Dave, and myself, Jessica, I want to thank you for watching. Have a wonderful and snackful day. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.